Aprons are one of my favorite things to make for other people. You can make them for any occasion or just because. Hello, I'm Allie, the literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read. However, today I want to show you how to make a basic apron, plus at the end I'll show you how I made my fanciest apron to date. Let's go sew. For an adult apron, you will need one yard made fabric, 100% cotton or other non-stretch fabric, one quarter yard accent fabric. Take measurements for across the chest at the collarbone, collarbone to waist, collarbone to mid thigh, and waist circumference. With your fabric folded in half, mark the width of the chest, collarbone to waist, and the full length plus one inch. Remember that you're on the fold so it's half the width. Make perpendicular lines across the bottom and at the waist. Connect the waistline to the bottom line at a 90 degree angle. Draw a diagonal line from the edge of your top to the waistline. You can keep this as a straight line or freehand a slight curve along this line. Now you can cut out your apron along the top, bottom, and sides. Do not cut the waistline. For the waist straps, cut the width 3 inches and the length 2 times the waist measurement. Then cut in half. For the neck straps, cut the width 2 inches and the length 2 times the chest measurement. For each of the straps, fold in half then press. Then fold one end toward the middle one quarter inch and press. Now fold the long raw edges into the middle and press. Along the angled or curved sides, sew a stay stitch one quarter inch from the edge. Fold over the stay stitch and press. Fold over one more time and press again. Top stitch 1 8 inch from the edge. Top stitch all of the straps 1 8 inch from the edges. Fold the straight sides over by 1 half inch and press. Lay the raw edge of the strap along the waistline, then fold over again. Repeat this for the other side and the top of the apron. Fold the strap over and top stitch 1 8 inch from the edge. On the bottom, fold over 1 half inch and press, then fold over again and press again. Finish the hem with the top stitch 1 8 inch from the edge of the fold. Pockets are optional, but who doesn't love pockets? Cut out two rectangles 8.5 inches tall by 6.5 inches wide. Press your pocket pieces flat, then fold three of the edges over 1 quarter inch and press, then fold over again and press. Fold the top edge over one half inch and press, then fold over again and press. Top stitch the pocket edges. On the apron, press a center seam and a waistline to mark the middle. Place each pocket 3 inches from the center middle point with the top edge along the waistline. Feel free to adjust this based on the person you're making this apron for. Top stitch your pockets onto the apron. Don't forget to back stitch.
Now, let's get fancy. Using the same measurements, draw at a heart the width of the chest and the length of the collar to waist. Keep the bottom of the heart flat, not pointed, at least two thirds width of the chest. Cut out one front main and one lining, plus two inches wide by two times the length of the heart for the ruffles. Fold the ruffle in half lengthwise, then gather. Spread evenly along the outer edge of the main fabric. Place the lining on top, right sides together to sandwich the ruffle between. Sew around the edge with a one quarter inch seam allowance. Trim the edges, clip the curves, and turn right sides out. Then top stitch the heart. When you cut the waistband, you will cut it three times the length of the waist measurement. Make it as wide as you want. Mine is 4.5 inches wide. Cut two waistbands. Sandwich the apron bodice between the two waistbands. Make sure the waistband is centered. Now cut two straps six inches wide by two times the collar to waist measurement. Sew right sides together along the long edge. Turn right sides out and top stitch. Clip the straps to the waistband at the back and set aside. The bottom of the apron is comprised of three pieces. Cut two pieces, two times the width of the waist measurement each. Then cut each piece in half and curve up one edge. Sew the straight edge together with the curves on the outside. Now we need to make some ruffles. Measure the entire bottom of your apron and double that length. Cut enough fabric strips so that you reach that number. Sew the ends together, then hem the bottom edge. I'm using a rolled hem on my serger. Use a gathering stitch across the top edge of the ruffle. Gently pull the bottom thread to gather, then spread evenly across the bottom edge of the apron. Base the ruffles in place, then serge your overcast stitch to finish the edges. Flip, then top stitch. Add a gathering stitch to the top edge of the apron skirt. Pull to gather, then attach the front apron waistband. Baste in place. Mark the spot you plan to place your heart pockets, then cut four hearts, two main and two lining. Right sides together, sew the linings to the mains, leave a two inch gap for turning. Trim the edges and clip the curves. Turn right sides out, tucking in the opening, then top stitch around the entire heart. Pin the heart in place where you mark. Make sure to keep the skirt flat, then sew in place from top curve to top curve. With the apron face down, fold the waistband lining over the gathers. Tuck in the lining by one quarter inch and pin in place. Top stitch to close the entire waistband. Take this step slowly to be sure that you don't catch extra fabric in your stitches. Pull the straps up and over the shoulders. You can attach at the correct height with either buttons or snaps. Now go bake something fancy. If you are ready to draft and sew your own aprons, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. And if you ring the bell, it'll notify you every time there's a new video uploaded. And while you're still here, these links, yeah, they'll take you to even more sewing fun and some of my book inspired projects. We'll see you in the next video.